practicing my smiles because it's like, yo, this world makes me want to cry. <laughs> I want to smile and shit so I can fake it till you make it, motherfucker. Fake that shit till you can make it. So I just walk around like this. Like this emoji. <laughs> but really on the inside, I'm like... <laughs> I got pink eye now and shit, I can't see, I can't see, I just gave myself pink eye. Hey, <laughs> you guys, it's funny because it's kind of like, all right, come on, man. Why are you guys, what the fuck you people thinking out there that like I give a fuck? You gotta be crazy. You, no, I'm not maluku, dude, you're fucking maluku if you think I give a fuck about what the fuck y'all motherfuckers are thinking, dude. I'm not thinking about what you guys are thinking. So. People be like, Larry, do you want people to like you? Of course I want people to like me, dude. Everybody wants to be liked. If you want to be liked, you got to act like a likable guy. But when people start hating on you for no fucking reason, it's sort of like, damn, dude, what the fuck did I do this for? The worst is when you actually like somebody and you're like, yo, this fool's chill. I like this fool. We can hang out at that, but he don't like you. You start hating on you and shit. Be like, what the fuck did I do to you? This is before social media. Now I can understand. Now I can, now I can understand why people don't like me and shit. Because now it's like, fuck, I, now I just grab my dick and I spit. It's like, fuck, you didn't like me anyway, so I might as well just come out here and tell my story and tell the truth, uh, and tell the truth uh, in the face of liars grabbing my dick and spitting, dude, from fucking, from fucking scorned-ass lying, little fucking lying-ass 19-year-olds doing the bidding of fucking little Frank, little pussy Viscar, and all these other fucking weirdos in Point Loma, all the way up to the judges that are fucking in their pockets and shit, or lying in their pockets. And to pastors too. To be honest, the top isn't even judges, dude. The top is pastors. It's so fucking crazy how religious authorities and figures can like get more power than politicians. Like, would you look at the Church of Scientology? This David Miscarriage guy has more power than fucking politicians. He literally controls police and shit. Like, he controls police. Scientology and flo fuck that shit. Fuck that shit, dude. Nah, uh-uh, nah. I'm talking about where's Sheriff Ju uh, Judge Grady? Grady Judge, Judge Grady, Judge Grady, Judge Grady. Where the fuck is he, dude? I know that fool ain't gonna fucking bow down to no fucking dude in church clothes and shit, you know, begging for money, calling himself a 501, 503, whatever the fuck you call that shit. And I definitely don't think that People should be scared of fucking pastors and fucking, I don't even, I'm not even fucking scared of Pope Francis, dude. I'll bet you I'll, <laughs> I'll bet you I'll whoop Pope Francis' ass. Yeah, watch Pope Francis got fucking head movement and he can whoop your head. <laughs> what if he does though? What if Pope Francis, like, you try that fool. Watch, go try him like Padre Pio. You try to step to Pope Francis and he gives you a little bit of pumping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you never know, dude. Age is nothing but a number. Look at Freddie Roach. Some fool at Kinko's tried to get fresh with Freddie Roach, and Freddie Roach was like, eh, bink. <laughs> so anyway, back to what I was saying. Why are people fucking scared of authority if you're not wrong? Like, if you're not wrong and you did nothing wrong, don't fucking back down. Don't back down. Grab your dick and spit and be like, oh, you want to talk shit about me? Where are all you liars at? I'm going to shine a fucking light on you cockroaches and make sure that you... You fucked with the very best. Yeah, I, don't worry. In the end, in the end, at the very end, dead or alive, because that's what... Oh, that's another thing, too. So they were like, we're... We're not going to stop until you're either dead or in jail. So I had, somebody sent that text message to me from a text plus thing. We're not going to stop till you're dead or in jail. I got Verissimo sheriffs on fucking... You guys are stupid. You put things on paper and then you anonymously go behind the scenes trying to threaten me. And then I prove the fucking paperwork and you guys and it's like, duh, you fucking idiots. Don't call me stupid. You guys are fucking retarded. I'm not stupid. Stupid is... Putting your names on a bunch of paper and saying like, oh my God, look at him, he's this and he's that and he's this. And then behind the scenes threatening my life and saying I got away from fucking something that by a bunch of tweakers that I, I've already seen them before. I remember everybody I run into. I've already seen these motherfuckers and met these motherfuckers in a motel room and they were waiting for me outside of Avon's trying to act like they were playing with a fucking, uh, an empty shopping cart. I know who's, who paid them to do something to me. I know I'm not stupid. I fucking, I'm, I'm wild as fuck on me so yeah you think i got you think i got away no motherfucker those motherfuckers got away i'm right you're so stupid dude come on point loma 
Point them, I grew up with you guys. I know how fucking dumb you are. Don't call me dumb. You got fucking 10 DUIs. You can't even fucking get an apartment here in San Diego, so you gotta live down in TJ because you got so many fucking DUIs and shit. But I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Fuck. So anyways, they don't stop. They said that they were gonna not stop until I'm either dead or in jail. And the jail part is they've already, I've already exposed the, the fact that they're willing to lie, cheat, and steal. So what's gonna happen is if you fucking do try to press me in a way to where we're gonna go into to court, then what's gonna happen is everything and the, I'm gonna call on people that you got. I'm not the only one they fucked. I'm not the only one. These A lie, a cheat, and a thief they go through life to get where they are at the top by being a fucking corrupt lie, cheat, and thief. So, you know it's a trip? Nobody wants to hear your story. A judge from Point Loma says, nobody wants to hear your story and you better get, um, what did I say? I was like, you know what then? I'm gonna get, what I say? I'm gonna get some counsel then because I wanted to see how his response was. And he goes, then you better, then you better. What kind of a neutral judge says that? What kind of a neutral judge says that? Then you better get some counsel. Like, you don't scare me, motherfucker. Dude, I'm not scared. People, look in the mirror. Look in the mirror. Look in the mirror. I want you to look in the mirror. And then say to yourself, is this scary? I don't give a fuck if you're a penis pumping judge. And then he sends his little sheriff that he swapped out with his little fucking boyfriend sheriff who looked like he could have been a character in fucking The Simpsons to come out to me and say, if you go on social media, tell your story, it's like cutting your own throat. You fucking idiots. You fucking idiots. We'll see. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. I ain't scared. Do it, motherfucker. Do it. I dare you. Do it. Come on. Go. Do it. Fucking kooks. Nobody's scared of you guys. I'm an outlier, but not because I'm special. Because I like to out liars. I've been doing it up till this point. That paperwork has a Verissimo Sheriff on it. That paperwork is filled with Point Loma. The paperwork that they've done on me is filled with Point Loma. And guess what? If you motherfuckers would have just let me leave, I went to Kitchens for Good to get the fuck away from you guys and let you guys call me a cross-dresser and shit. You got motherfuckers with fathers who are cross-dressers calling me a cross-dresser. Worried about my fucking sexuality? I know what the fuck I've done. I ain't, I'm not ashamed of nothing that I've done. Nothing. Because guess what? You guys are even worse. I've done a lot of fucking uh, stimulants and shit. Right? I've done a lot of stimulants and shit. And then when you come off the you come off the stimulants, you're like, damn dude, fuck, that shit makes you too horny. I don't wanna do that shit again. And then fucking three months goes by and you're like, eh, fuck it, I'll go do that shit again. I feel like being bad, right? But I'm in my own house, fucking tweaking balls in my own house and shit. And you motherfuckers shining flashlights and throwing dry ice in my backyard. It's just if I was a crazy schizophrenic tweaker, then why and dangerous and all whatever the fuck you say, trying to say I'm a killer and all kinds of stupid shit, killing cats and all this. If I was that, why would you be fucking with me? Why would you fuck with me? So you could you know you don't believe none of the shit that nobody believes you. Nobody fucking believes you. So, anyways. My point is, is I'm trying to make people brave out there. I just want everybody to be brave because bullies only win when you don't fight back. You, when you don't fight back, then, then you're bullied. You're no longer bullied even if you get your ass kicked. It's better to get your ass kicked and fight to the point where it's like that bully doesn't want to go through that again. Yeah, you might have got walked away getting your ass beat or whatever. Fuck, I've been beat up so many times in my life I don't even give a fuck anymore. It doesn't even hurt, dude. The only thing, you know, the worst part about getting beat up is is in the shower later you find out where all the scrapes are when the soap hits it and shit. But then after that one shower, boom, you good, homie. You good. And there's been a few times I had my head stomped and shit. I got jumped on my bra. To a point low man. So I hated me for no reason. I'm just on my bike crossing the bridge and there's two old guys with the young guy, white guys, and they fucking send their little young guy after me. I was probably like 16 years old and they send the, the, the young one who's probably younger than me, probably like 14 or 15, to go push me off the bike. And he tried to push me off the bike, but it didn't work. And I put the bike down and put my hands up like I was going to fight the guy. Well, the two big guys came in and jumped me and they all jumped me because it was like, oh, we're not going to let this 16-year-old beat up our 14-year-old. Well, I did my best to fight back. I did my best to fight back. I went all bloodied up. I went, oh, and they were, they stomped on my head like twice and my head bounced off the concrete and back to their foot and then came back. Still didn't get knocked out. I rode my bike to my friend's house, washed off all the blood, fixed the handle, my, I rode the bike with the handlebars crooked and shit, and then fixed my handlebars there, uh, rode home, had a hard time sleeping for like three nights because I had a thumping headache. Those fools could have killed me. 
And then that on that day, I was no longer scared of getting my ass whooped by one, two, three, four, five. I don't give a fuck, dude. At this point, if you kill me, it's better not to kill me because at least you could see me. Because now my belief and my faith in one God is that when my spirit is gone from my body, that's when I'll have free roam. I'll have free roam. And I'm going straight to the wombs of all of these motherfuckers that have fucked with me and my family when I just wanted to leave. I just wanted to leave. If they didn't try to send me right back to the Viscaras at Lola 55, this bitch named Katrina. Yeah, all this could come out. All this could come out. Go, let's go to court, motherfuckers. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, the people that lie, don't fucking turn your back like that bitch with fucking, uh, that bitch did with fucking Russell Brand. Hey, I sucked his dick and fucking hit him. But yeah, show your face. Show your fucking face. We want to see who's the bitch that sucked Russell Brand's dick. Like, yeah, let's, I want to, I want to go. I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to do this. You fucking people threatened my life, threatened my father's life, made our lives miserable before drugs, shining flashlights in my bedroom window, just fucking with my family. When all we wanted to do, we had our own issues going on up in this house. You say we're the worst of the worst, but wait till your lineage's secrets come out. Because your lineage's secrets are fucking... I'm talking about the people that fucked with my family. Your secrets are way fucking worse. Way fucking worse. We're over here just doing our best to survive. And you guys are fucking worse than the demons. Worse than the demons. The Bible talks about that attacks man and attacks the children of Noah. They, they, the demons have mastered how to manipulate lying fucking scorned ass bitches that just won't let somebody go you won't let somebody just go you know i would i was trying to get out of here and get the fuck out of this community and just go and leave and fucking get a little job somewhere working at some restaurant use my social you fall in love with the people because I, I know restaurant industry it's like little families right if you fall into the right restaurant it's like you guys are struggling to you know meet times and fucking do the shit and serve people and be, have a smile on your face even when it's a bad day at home and just get through it i have no doubt that had i got into a restaurant that wasn't a point loma restaurant i would have met a fine little fina um i would have moved into a studio with her live the simple life then use my personality to promote the restaurant bring Jorge Masvidal into the restaurant who else did I want to bring in like Nick Diaz it just typically I was gonna go for the fighters first to come eat at the restaurant charm them make friends and then just little by little crawl crawl my way up and 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 help my the people around me who have supported me but when you when you are amongst lizards and reptiles all they want to do is just bring everybody else down and and look at the faults and flaws in others but I'm gonna make, I'm gonna show the people your faults and flaws too. All you had to do is just let me go, Point Loma. I would have fucking bounced up out this. You can't say leave Wisteria, leave Point Loma. I tried and you motherfuckers won't let me leave. So since you wanna pick a fight with me, you got one, you got one. But I want the world to watch. I want the world to watch your judgments and your lies so that they know, they can see like who's who. Who are, am I what you guys say I am? Or are you guys who you are? Am I, 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 I didn't want to do it this way. I didn't want to do it this way. I never wanted to be around you Point Loma motherfuckers in the first place. You Portuga Italiana from Point Loma. I never fucking, at 2006, I was 26 years old. And I said, I've had enough of this shit. I can't do it. All they do, this girl's a whore. And this girl did cocaine. And this guy's a meth. And this guy's a that. And this guy. And I'm like, fuck, man. If they're doing this to everybody else, what the fuck you think they're doing to me behind my back? Bye-bye. Peace out, homie. You're gonna watch me level the fuck up and I'm only gonna stop s talking about you motherfuckers when I get to where I'm meant to be. I'm just trying to, I've been trying to escape you motherfuckers. Dude, it's a get out. Jordan Peele, call me. I got another fucking get out story. Zizu, bitch.